ooh, you want to know about this. You got to come see this. It's so tiny and so cool. Come see it. It's Friday, Friday, finished Friday. Hey there, Soul Shines. How are you guys doing today? It's Michelle here, and it's finished Friday. It recorded on a Thursday. I just got done finished. Got done making my things we're making Thursday video. Hey, do you want to go see that? You can look right here. Yeah. Um. So I'm I'm oh, wait. <laughs> okay, I have so much fun stuff. Um, the first thing is one of the things that I did show up was this. Showed this in my blanket video. Things we're making Thursdays blanket month. Um, it is finished though. It is a finished square that's the bottom that's the top not that it will matter in the end uh, it's a sand stitch i've never done the sand stitch before it looks like a like a rib stitch on this side and awesome texture on this side so yeah that's um coming along i'm really excited about that so that's finished uh another thing that's finished a picture in fact i'm gonna put two pictures because she's a cool cat I finished the ski mask. Isn't that awesome? Um, she is, as you're watching this, she's on her ski trip, uh, which is why I cannot show it to you in person. However, even though she's actually at school right now and not on her ski trip while I'm recording this, she does have it in her stuff pack so that she has it to go this afternoon. So I'm just showing the pictures of that. Did finish the ski mask. It is super adorable. She is super cute. So hopefully it keeps her nice and warm and cozy. Um, somebody's at my door. So one of the things that I'm doing, and I did, I posted about one group um, in one of my other videos. Random acts of crochet kindness. But as I was looking, because I was like, I'll just do two groups. I'll do random acts of crochet kindness. There's random acts of crochet kindness in the USA. There's like all kinds of random acts of crochet kindness groups. Guess what? I looked up random acts of knitting kindness just to see what would happen. I found a group that says random acts of knitting and crochet kindness. And that was it. I'm like, where's all the knitters? Come on. Do they not know about this thing? Maybe they don't because it's a crochet thing. I don't know. It's been going on for a while and I just learned about it. So um, I actually have left the crochet groups. It's not a problem against them. I think it's really cool. Love what they're doing, but I only want to focus on one group. So I am going to focus on the knitting and crochet group, which I will leave in the description box below in case you want to join us. You're welcome to look on Facebook for random acts of crochet kindness. If you just want to be in a crochet group, that's fine. But I do both. I wanted to share both. But one of my things that I want to do is make a bunch of bookmarks and take down to the local library and leave them in books for people to keep with little notes that saying it's for them to keep. If they're, they're welcome to post pictures in the Facebook group if they want to kind of thing. So I started out um, found some, I ah, found so many cute patterns, guys. And bookmarks are fast, fun makes. So, um, here is one that is a heart on a chain with a little doodad on the end. And I made it, I just used whatever hook I had, so this was a bigger hook. And here's a little hook. These same exact pattern, same yarn, the only difference is the hook size like seriously guys the hook size you use makes such a difference just remember that everything else is exactly the same like even the chain length look at that so um they're super cute um and i'm really excited to take these so those are my crochet ones and i will leave the youtube tutorial that i got these from in the description box below as well Oh, and for this, I will leave the um, link to probably not just this square. I could leave the page to just this square. It was on a vlog. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is the main one that has a link to all of the squares for this, if you want to do that. It was a knit-along from 2016 
which I found through Roaming with Rover. Um, so, but I'm not doing it along with her, even though that would be really cool, mostly because she started quite a while before I even knew about it, and she does her videos for that on Sundays. I'm not available on Sundays, so lots of reasons why. So those are my crochet things. <sighs> Guys. Remember, in my little beginning, I held up something in my hands. Oh my gosh. Like, you have no idea how amazing and adorable and cute this is. I don't even know if you're ready for this. Are you ready? I doubt it. Okay. It is a tiny little sock. I, of course, will leave the pattern for this below but you're welcome to come up with your own it is a mini sock because the bookmark it the pattern is called a bookmark for dobby so i'm gonna leave with my little note it's gonna say um you have been presented with clothes you are free and then a little note that they can keep it share in the facebook group that kind of thing um so i used the pattern just to know how many to cast on kind of the general idea of how many in the sock how many in the foot followed their toe decreases but instead of doing their heel flap and gusset that they had on there i actually did a fish lips kiss heel I like the Fish Lips Kiss Heel plus I'm involved with a uh, community on Ravelry that does Fish Lips Kiss Heel and they have giveaways and it's a really fun group so um, I like the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. It's super easy. So I've got the sock that I am I'm so excited. Um, it was really, really, really hard not to pat cast on another one. Oh, so hard. Um, she's got pat she's got um, some that are have got some textures one's got some lace one's got um, so, uh, like a form of ribbing to make some textures along it and um, that's really fun but I just did myself striping yarn it's really fun this yarn um, if I can find them I'll put a picture of my son's socks that I made him from the same yarn. It is really fun how in tiny size it looks completely different. So it looks really cool, but completely different. That is really fun. So um, I'm really curious now. I wanna make a watermelon one because I made some watermelon socks and I wanna see how they compare together. So um, I'm really excited to do this. This one, this is my favorite, favorite thing I made. And it was really hard not to just keep making them because I made it in a day. Like, it did not take much time at all. Um, if I would have been a little more um, disciplined, I would have taken a couple of days just because I have so many other projects. But I was like, no, I have to make the sock. So um, my, because I'm so excited about it, I am allowing myself to make one again next week. But I'm like, nope, you gotta do all the other stuff. Plus I need to make more bookmarks of not just this kind, but there's some other bookmarks I wanna make others. Um, I want to have two socks and you know, like six or seven other bookmarks, then I'm gonna take them down to the library kind of thing. That's my plan. So, um, and so this is knitted, but you know what? You could do the same thing. This is like casting on 32 stitches, just so you know. Uh, you could do this with crochet, like if you have a crochet pattern or you have made enough crochet socks that you understand how heels work and things like that, how the toes and the heels, because that's the biggest thing. Like without the toes and the heels, you're just making a tube. You, um, this is, uh, from cuff down. I will probably see if I can do it from toe up just because I prefer toe up socks, but that's just personal preference. And I know how to reverse the pattern. It's not going to be hard. Um, just a different kind of heel or toe and still do the same amount here, do my thing. But you like work You can, on this one. You cast on 32 stitches. You do your ribbing for so many stitches, which is a tube. And then you do your down to where you're going to do the hill, which is a tube. Then you do whatever kind of hill you're going to do. 
which is not a two. But then you go back to whether your heel has your pickup stitches or you just kind of start working across the whole thing again. But the rest of the foot part is a tube. In fact, you could do an afterthought heel. I know they have them for crochet and knitting where you just make the whole tube, put a toe on it, either at the beginning or the end, whichever way you want to do it. And then you cut in and you put an afterthought heel. I think with crochet, you don't just do a the tube though. I think you have to crochet to a bit and then you start working kind of, you kind of cast, cast on uh, some more and you leave a hole and then you go in and put the heel. I think that's how it works for um, and a crochet after hook. I've never made it. I've only made one pair of crochet socks. I don't like crochet socks because they don't have as much stretch as knit socks. So um, anyway, super, super cute, super easy. Um, if you know how to knit socks, you can definitely knit these. Just make tiny versions. And how fun is that? Sock for Dobby. Dobby is free. That's it for today. That's my finished objects. Um, might finish some more before tomorrow just put in creative expressions or I might not remember to let your light shine through your creations knitting crochet anything else and I will see you guys next time bye